Hello everyone, this is Kamaniel Das from Code Hunters, a team of full stack developers and security analysts. Presenting to you is a video series on what hackathons are and the tips and tricks for cracking each and every hackathon and how a hackathon works. So in this video what we are going to see is what exactly is a hackathon. So a hackathon is a national level or state level or a international level contest where people from different parts of the world come together for finding solutions for a challenge. So before getting deep into what a hackathon is, let us just talk about the term hackathon itself. So uh, it's a completely interesting pack of word cause it is a combination of two words which every one of us will be familiar. One hack. So hack is a term like uh, everyone in the world will know. So let me talk with an example. So I am building a website and I think that no one can breach it. And if someone is able to breach in my website and get all my details, that's called hacking. Things which seem to be impossible can be made possible. And that's what a hacker does. And uh, the second word, marathon so marathon and the difference between marathon and each and every other race a hundred meter or 200 meter race is that in the other races the importance is for the speed but in marathon speed doesn't play any role because the more you exhaust your speed the more the chances are there for losing consistency is the key a person who is able to go through the five to ten kilometers in the same pace is the one who wins so just combine both the words aren't you getting any meaning in it mm, if you aren't okay let's talk in detail Hackathons can happen in two different forms. One, the problem statements are already given. Second, are open innovation contests. Hackathons, as I said, happen in different forms. But there are some things which remain similar always, starting from the rules and regulations or stuffs of team formation. Because the first thing everywhere there is the team formation and the second is the idea. Let us go through a roadmap of how exactly a hackathon works from the organizing point of view. The first thing, they have the set of problem statements that are to be deployed or that are to be solved. Uh, to be simple, the recent hackathon which we won, which is a Smart India hackathon, we got a problem statement from the DRDO for an alternative for OTP systems in low network zones, just because it had security concerns. So just like that, challenges are laid out. And that is the first type of hackathon, which I already said. And the team formation, how many members of the team. In Smart India hackathon, we had the regulations of uh, six members per team and one girl minimum. And that was how the regulations were formed. So they have a detailed guideline of all the steps that are to be taken. Like uh, uh, the teams have to be present in the location one day before the hackathon. And uh, going into the hackathon, the first round is always the ideation stage. The ideation stage is the stage where we are going to just say what we are going to do in that particular 36 hours or 24 hours or anything like that. We are just going to say what we are going to do. And we will be getting feedbacks from the jury panel on the stuff which we have to do or is our idea valid in getting deployed and stuff like that. And then on the coding hunt begins. Like through the 33 hours, through the 40, 24 hours, we work on day and night on how, what we are going to give the perfect solution or not. Because we'll be having different rounds of valuation. It may be three rounds of valuation or four rounds of valuation, whatever it is. Uh, it is the stages which they are going to take. And every hackathon is similar in that perspective. Because they have multiple evaluations to ensure that the perfect product is the one that is going to win it. And uh, completing the... Uh, uh, ideation phase and the coding phase the next thing is the uh, product demo so once we show the product demo the best out of the best will be announced the winner that is the winning stage and this is how typically every hackathon works so let us take a example for understanding of what uh, exactly a hackathon works smart india hackathon let us talk in detail about that smart india hackathon is india's biggest nation growing initiative so here companies from different parts of the world especially from india they post their problems uh, to be uh, precise, I am from Core and I am having a problem in uh, uh, web development or some SaaS based product which I am going to build. I will put my problem statement there. And that's how as a, uh, a person who is giving a problem statement, I can register there. So different ministries starting from 10,000 plus companies, they put their problem statements over there. And that's where the participants, that is the students, they will select their best problem statement. Like a problem statement from the Ministry of Rural Development, problem statement from the DRDO or anyone, any organization. They can select their problem statement and they can register. And here the registration process is with the help of an internal hackathon that is conducted in the college. A college conducts a hackathon for all the registered students. And only 15 teams will be shortlisted and uh, done the official registration and after a level of scrutiny of maybe two or three months we'll be getting the final shortlisted list 
of the participants who are uh, valid for the finals. The maximum number of uh, teams that can be selected for a problem statement is up to 5 to 7 and the least number is 0. So many problem statements when they don't get a valid solution they eliminate all of it. Typically around uh, 300 to 400 problem statements literally had no participants shortlisted for the final round. And uh, the ones who are shortlisted they get a mail for the registration for the accommodation and stuff like that. This is the first process. Like if the competition date is somewhere around August 25 or 26, 10 days prior they will be given all the information starting from the t-shirts which the, the team need to wear and uh, the banners which they need to carry. All the details will be provided from the, their side. The only thing which we have to do is the travel stuff and that too they will be providing the reimbursement. That's what uh, uh, of a hackathon which is conducted from the government side. And once we go to the grand finale location, we have to be there one day before the grand finale. And once we are there, we'll be provided all the accommodation and details of the hackathon. We'll be having an on-spot registration for getting the ID card, the coupons for lunch, breakfast, dinner and everything, stuff like that. And that's how the first round of evaluation starts on the first day. It's actually a 36-hour hackathon. The first round of evaluation will be starting on the first day. That is the idea evaluation, as I said. And they will be giving their feedback on the idea. You can improve in this part. You can improve in that part and everything. The feedback from their perspective that's what we have to change in the next round in the next round we need to show the progress in this eight hours we have done this much of work in the next 12 hours we have done this much of work each round of evaluation will be showing that and the final valuation is the round for the product demo and in the product demo they will be they themselves will be checking the product if that product is a perfect solution it may be five competitors who are sitting by you and the best one will be announced the winner there's no concept for runner up here one and only winner and that's how they shortlist the winner and the best person gets the winning thing and uh, uh, with pride in my heart I can say that uh, me and my team were able to win the Smart India Hackathon 2022 in the next video before getting to know why we should partake in Hackathon I will be sharing our experience in how we were able to win the Smart India Hackathon 2022 and in a situation where everyone thought we cannot win and it was in an impossible win situation so it will definitely be interesting. Uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and keep awaiting for getting more news about the hackathons and stuffs of how to crack a hackathon. Signing off, Gamaliel Das.